Protesters hope to make an impact on McDonald's shareholders today as they bring the Fight for 15 campaign to the fast food maker's corporate headquarters. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli has been live in Oak Brook this morning where a big turnout is expected today. Good morning, Mike. Hi, yeah, they're talking about the largest turnout ever in a protest against McDonald's. Behind me right now, you can see they've already set up road closures here, and I can tell you that police have been called in from all over the area. I've talked to officers from Skokie, Wakanda, and also Bartlett who are coming in to help out Oak Brook police because they think that there is just going to be a massive crowd here today as the fight for 15 the national fight really takes center stage here in Oak Brook today. Now, this was the scene yesterday in downtown Chicago as a coalition of activist groups marched through the city streets despite a driving rain. They met in the city center and then marched to Trump Tower and then to the rock and roll McDonald's. Now, the goal is, of course, to pressure the world's second largest private employer to, in their words, lift workers up instead of dragging them down. Today, as shareholders from around the world arrive in Oak Brook for their annual meeting, they will be met by thousands of protesters in what activists say is likely to be the largest protest ever against the fast food giant. Now, since the fight for 15 began some five years ago, activists say more than 22 million underpaid workers have gotten raises adding up to the tune of 60 plus billion dollars. They also say New York, California, Seattle and Washington DC have made $15 an hour the prevailing wage. Now, there has been some this, there have been disturbances in the past. Back in 2014, there were more than 100 arrests at this protest outside the headquarters. So that's one of the reasons why you're seeing an obviously very stepped up police presence this morning. Reporting live in Oak Brook, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Lionel, Aaron. Thank you.